Hey guys, I'm Cody Bradbury and I want to walk you around the 2020 Ranger 620 FS Pro. The FS Pro is the new series for 2020 and this is the boxed version of the 620. There's also a C version of the 620 with an open cockpit that we'll talk more about in a later video. But let me show you around the front of this 620. So up front we've got an upholstered bow panel with room for up to a 12 inch unit, flush in the front, Standard keypad over here with trim controls and live well, uh, live well controls there. We've got a new uh, push push latch on a on a bow tool drawer here that actually will open up uh, just with a kick or with a push on the front to store some uh, some baits or some pliers in there and just push it closed there. Uh, we've got an uh, integrated trolling motor foot pedal storage box up front. This is on a slam latch, so the latch will never be in your way or under your foot. And uh, if, you, if you're one of those guys that likes to run an Ultrax or a conventional pedal motor, it'll actually still get a trim ring in place of this lid uh, for full integration there. Lots of storage on the front deck. We've got dual rod boots um, on each side for storing longer rods on the front deck this year. And some nice trim pieces on the front of the console with horn and Ranger badge integration. And uh, tons of storage up front, as always. We've got uh, fiberglass boxes throughout this year. Plenty of room up front. And then the center rod box is absolutely massive and we've got room for up to an eight and a half foot rod on the, uh, on the top row of tubes there. New step up storage for this year as well. Uh, still kept the net holder integration on top of the floor there and a uh, nice little step getting up to the front deck. And one of my uh, favorite parts of the new boat is the new console area. So you'll notice we've got fully upholstered uh, wrap, wrap dashes on these boats for this year. Room for up to H an HDS 16 flush in the dash and the new Ranger ride system. So this is for the first time total boat integration. So any accessory you may add to your boat, all of your engine monitoring, all of your accessories are, uh, are fully integrated into this nine inch touchscreen. Um, zip wakes are, uh, are optional in these boats as are Linko trim tabs and uh, those can be controlled here or through the ride screen. We've got storage behind the, uh, the driver's footrest. We've got a wireless phone charging station right here. We've got automotive style speaker grills and uh, the standard start stop touchpad over here on the starboard side. On the port side, we've got a five gallon bucket holder integrated on the bottom side of the console. We've got two huge club boxes just above that bucket holder. Uh, the, the larger one will hold a 3700 series Plano. The smaller one is good for uh, wallet, keys, and cell phone with a cubby just below it. Rod storage on the port side over there. And then uh, we've got the gunnel boxes on this one being the standard 620 FS Pro model. And 3700 series Planos guys will drop right in and out of this box standing on end. So it'll be super easy to get boxes in and out of there. Huge live well, plenty of room in there, backlighting, uh, O2 sensors are standard there. Lots of room in this FS Pro. So I mentioned when we were up front, all the boxes on these FS Pros are fiberglass. And that continues even to the very back boxes uh, back here on the port and starboard sides you'll see that this one is, is fully gel coat lined. And on the starboard side, it's the exact same box with the emergency jumper switch built in close to the gunnel so you can get to it easily from outside the boat. So you'll see on the back here, guys, this is the integration for trim tabs. And we've got two different trim tab offerings for 2020. This you see is the zip wake and it's a new offering uh, in that it's got some automatic con automated control in that uh, you can press the auto button on the dash, on the ride system even, and it will completely control the pitch and roll of the boat back and forth, up and down uh, with a gyro built into the center on the boat. So it'll be full autonomous control, or you can always opt for the traditional Linko trim tabs as well. That would stick out a little bit further and give you normal control through those. Um, one of the more exciting things too is we've got a 300 horsepower rating on these 620s for this year. Uh, the 621s have up their horsepower rating as well, but we're really excited about this 300 on the 620.